Okay, on to point slope form of lines. So, <clears throat> what's the formula here for the point slope formula? Oops, not forum, but formula. Y minus Y0 equals MX minus X0. Where M is the slope of the line, X0, Y0, any point on the line. Okay, so example one, find the equation of a line, equation of a line with slope 7 going through the point 2 comma 3. So, what we know is the slope and a point on the line. We don't know the y-intercept here. But we have our formula here. So our slope is 7, that's m, and our point is 2 comma 3. So m equals 7, semicolon, our point x0 comma y0 is 2 comma 3. What that means is that x0 is the number 2 and y0 is the number 3. And we plug it into this equation. So y minus 3, we plug that in for y0, equals m, which is 7, that's our m, times the quantity x minus x0, and x0 is 2. And we plug that there. Great. And now we can solve for y. First, we distribute the 7 to get 7x minus 14, and then add a 3 to both sides. And so there's an equation of the line with slope 7 going through the point 2 comma 3. And, and we use this formula to set it up, and then we can solve for y that gives us the slope intercept form. And you can go ahead and sketch it and find the x-intercepts and the y. Well, you know the y-intercept is 11, right? But you can find the x-intercept and um, other things you want to find out about it. So let's do a second example. A little bit more complicated. Find an equation should close up of the line going through two points and what are the two points that we're interested in here one is 5 5 and the other is 7 3 okay so the line that goes through these two points well let's set up there's an y-axis, there's an x-axis, 5, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's 5 on the x-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's 5 on the y-axis. And there it is. 7, 3. There's 7 on the x-axis and 3 on the y-axis. Right. So those two points, right? x equals 5, y equals 5, that's this point. x equals 7, and y is 3, that's this point. And we know, well, we can sketch the line. Right? It looks like that. But we want to know what is the equation of the line. And we don't know the slope at this point, and we don't know the y-intercept. So, what's the slope? Well, there's two ways to calculate this. To get from this point to this point, what do you have to do? You have to go down to and right to. So down to is when we're calculating the slope, negative two. That means you're going down as the negative, and we went down two units, and then you go right two, and that's in the positive direction. So that's why we put a right in the denominator. So it's change in y over change in x. We go down 2, that's a minus 2 in y. But we add 2 to x to go from 5 to 7. So my slope equals minus 1, which is nice. And that tells us then um, 
you know, what the slope of this line is. We want to know what the equation of the line is. We can also calculate the slope in another way, which is we just put up a table with our points on it, x and y. We have two points, and the two points we have are 7, 3. So this point has an x-coordinate of 7, y-coordinate of 3, and 5, 5. This point has an x-coordinate of 5 and a y-coordinate of 5. So what's slope? It's change in y over change in x. So just keep, make sure you keep the order of the points the same. So 3 minus 5, this point minus that point, is my change in y. 7 minus 5, right? this point minus that point, is my change in x. So that's minus 2 over 2, which is minus 1. So you can, if you just know the coordinates and you don't have the graph, you can also figure out the slope by saying, well, this line minus this line. 3 minus 5, that's in the top. 7 minus 5, that's the x's, that's in the bottom. So we get slope equals minus 1. So now we know what the slope is. The slope is minus 1. And we know a point. In fact, we knew two, two points. But it doesn't matter which one you take. I'll take 5, comma 5. So there's a slope and a point. And the slope point formula, or the point slope formula, I can never remember which of those two words comes first, is that. So m is minus 1, x0 is 5, y0 is 5. y minus 5 equals minus 1 times x minus 5. Minus 1 goes in for m. 5 goes in for, this 5 goes in for x0, x minus 5. This 5 goes in for y0, y minus 5. And then we can simplify this, distribute the minus 1. And that gives us minus x plus 5. And add a 5 to both sides. And we get minus x plus 10. So the y-intercept equals 10. What's the x-intercept? Well, set y equals 0, solve for x. That's always when you want to find the x-intercepts. X intercepts. So, what do we have? 0 equals minus x plus 10. That's easy to solve. Just add an x to both sides. x equals 10. That's my y-intercept. So if we re-sketch our line, this time leaving enough space for x and y intercepts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There is our y-intercept of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There is our x-intercept, also of 10. And we had two points on this line. One was 5. 5, which is here, and one was 7, 3, which was there. And, and these four points are all on the same line here. Right? There's a line that runs through all of them. And there's our graph. Negative slope, because it's going down, um, and goes through these two points. So, what do we got here? Slope rise over run, um, figure out your change in y over your change in x. Right? If you set it up this way, slope is this line, the first line, minus the second line. So 3 minus 5 over 7 minus 5. In general, the slope formula, we'll just toss this in here. Is what? Slope equals y1 minus y0 over x1 minus x0, right? x0, y0, that's one point. In this case, 5, 5. x1, y1, that's 7, 3. So 3 minus 5, that's on the top. 7 minus 5, that's on the bottom. Key point about slope. Make sure that you do this line and this line. Keep them in order. So 3 minus 5 over 7 minus 5. If you switch it, if you do 3 minus 5 on the top and then 5 minus 7 on the bottom, you're going to screw up the sign. So be careful about that. That's a common mistake. Okay, so that is the point-slope formula.
and how to find the slope if you know two points. And so if you know two points on a line, you should be able to find the equation of the line as the y equals mx plus b form. There's one more form of line that we're interested in, and that is the standard form, ax plus by equals c. And we'll